Discovery, in collaboration with Central Highlands Water, developed an interactive dashboard and reporting tool within Microsoft Power BI to help manage water resources within the Dalesford region. In this video, we'll explore some of the key features of this dashboard and how we use dashboards to transform environmental data into decisions. Embedding photos and animations into dashboards is a fantastic way to visualize and communicate complex environmental systems. In this example, we developed a simplified schematic of the Dalesford water supply system and animated the network to highlight key sources of inflow, storages and demands. This page presents a snapshot of the historic storage volumes, where we can filter charts based on the time period or the reservoir. As all of the visuals are interactive, we can easily drill down to find out more information. For example, we can see from the annual storage curves that the 2003 financial year experienced the lowest storage volume in recent years. And zooming in on this period, we can clearly see that the total system storage fell below the water restriction threshold. We can see even more detail in the table, where using conditional formatting, we can clearly see that the lowest storage volume occurred in June 2003. This page presents a summary of the groundwater extraction volume and groundwater levels at monitoring bores. Again, as the visuals are dynamic, we can filter the data based on the period of interest or by selecting a specific monitoring bore from the map. Hovering over the bores brings up a borehole log showing information on the total bore depth and screen interval. This is an example of one of the Power BI custom visuals which Discovery has created to help visualise and communicate environmental data. Here we can compare the weekly groundwater extraction volume against the groundwater level and also see how the total annual extraction volume compared to the licensed entitlement. Hovering over the performance metric, we can see the cumulative groundwater usage over the last financial year. This page summarises the bulk water consumption and presents the weekly, annual and cumulative totals. At the top of the page, we can see some of the performance metrics, where we can compare the cumulative usage for this financial year against the previous year, as well as the five-year average. This is an example of where we've provided greater context to help interpret and understand the information being presented. Time series charts are a great way to uncover trends across the data sets. We can see that the highest weekly usage over the recent period occurred in 2019. We can easily zoom in on this period and see that the spike in demand occurred in late January. This prompts discussion around reasons why the demand could have increased, such as an influx of tourists to the region over the Australia Day long weekend, or the very hot and dry start to the year. This page summarises the historical climate trends within the Dalesford region. We can select the climate station we're interested in and the climate statistics to summarise by using slices. Let's take a look at the daily maximum temperature for the Dalesford gauge. We can see that January 2019 was 6 degrees warmer compared to the long-term average. We can also inspect the recent climate trends where taking a look at rainfall, we can see that the rainfall was more than 100 millimetres higher than the long-term average over the last couple of months. Time intelligence calculations can be performed easily within Power BI to compute statistics such as the cumulative rainfall for the selected financial year and compare this to the prior year as well as the long-term average. We can also present more information within tooltips where hovering over the annual time series shows the daily rainfall time series across that given year. We can also quickly review information from online sources, such as the Climate Outlook, to inspect the rainfall and temperature forecast. This page presents the Surface Water Outlook, together with a summary of key actions from the Urban Water Strategy. The long-term water resource modelling results are presented in this chart for a range of outlook scenarios along with an adjustable scenario. 
where we can inspect the forecast storage volume for different exceedance probabilities. Including an adjustable scenario parameter is a fantastic way to make reports more dynamic. The modelling results can be easily compared to the historic storage volume in any of the three reservoirs. And the water restriction curves can be toggled on to help interpret forecasts or hidden to simplify the charts. Here we can see the performance metrics for the 12 month outlook for different scenarios where we've used dynamic formatting to highlight the performance. This page summarises over 7 million rows of modelling results from the Dalesford Water Supply Model. Hovering over this icon, we can see the model schematic, which helps us navigate the modelling results. We can filter the results by different categories or by directly searching. We can easily compare modelling outputs graphically and review these at an annual or daily time step in the table. We can also quickly inspect historical trends and stream flow data within the catchment. This page is a great example of how presenting the same information across a range of visuals allows us to discover different insights. Taking a look at the Kangaroo Creek, we can see that over 85% of the stream flow occurred during the winter and spring months. Gaps in the gauge stream flow record are also clearly identified, which can really help when interpreting annual totals. For example, while the 2011 year recorded the highest annual stream flow, it is possible that higher flow may have occurred in 2017, as the stream flow data was not recorded for 61% of the year. This proof of concept dashboard for the Dalesford system was developed by importing data directly from Excel and CSV files into a centralised database and using the powerful DAX language to program calculations, statistics and measures within Power BI. For full automation and real-time reporting, this dashboard can be connected to internal data warehouses and external online sources via APIs. This report can be published online to the Power BI service, where it can be easily shared across organisations as well as with external stakeholders, facilitating collaboration and a culture of data-driven decision-making. If you're interested in learning how we can help transform your environmental data into decisions, please get in touch with our team at Discovery today.